Slenderman is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Slenderman is attributed a wide array of abilities, depending on different interpretations of the entity. Some consistent powers are invisibility, teleportation, the ability to turn humans into its proxies, and infecting its prey with what has been dubbed Slender Sickness, a combination of memory loss, paranoia, sleepwalking, nausea, and nosebleeds. There is also the associated phenomenon that it seems to prey on individuals who have knowledge of it. The more you learn about the entity, the more it wishes to attack you. This led to our first, albeit unsuccessful, attempt at containing Slenderman using disinformation. In the early days of the entity's spread, Foundation web crawlers rapidly took down swaths of websites mentioning Slenderman in hopes of keeping the public from attracting its attention. Not only did this fail due to the viral spread of Slenderman intelligence, but several Foundation researchers on the project also inadvertently became victims of the entity themselves. All work on Slenderman past this point was transferred to the Department of Miscommunications, experts at dealing with anomalies that attack you for knowing of them. The final containment protocols were enacted on August 10th, 2018. The entity was lured into a containment chamber using a D-Class, at which point the SRAs were activated. Oh, what is an SRA? The Scranton Reality Anchor is a wonderful piece of paratech concocted by our top Foundation researchers. To summarize Dr. James Caldman and Carlos Rzewski's report, Reality can be measured in a unit we call Humes. Baseline reality measures at one Hume, and it is possible for certain places or entities to be more or less real than the baseline. Entities with lower Hume counts than their surroundings tend to be pushed around by the waves of reality, while entities with higher Hume levels than their surroundings are the ones doing the pushing. Using the Scranton Reality Anchor, we can siphon reality from a different universe and bring it to a specific location to balance the Humes with the entity, negating the entity's ability to push reality around. Coming back to our dear, dapper Slendy, with the trap sprung, reality around the entity balanced, leaving a tall, sad, faceless man pounding at the walls of its prison with hands and a few errant tentacles. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and remember that patrons of Site42 get priority for their Conprox requests. Secure. Contain. Protect.